Hi everyone, welcome to our leadership call today. This is a very special leadership call because we have an awesome guest, um, Bob Lucido, who's our men business mentor. Hi Bob, welcome. Thank and, you. Um, he's awesome, he's from the East Coast, so he's from Boston area, and um, he is an amazing leader, mentor. I love his passion for this business, and. He really focuses on genuinely helping people, and it's awesome to see what he's done just from genuinely helping people and paying it forward, um, not just with the health and fitness side, but also with the business side. And so I wanted him to come on our call today because I know a lot of you are going for Diamond or Star Diamond by the end of the year, and um, so he's going to give some awesome tips on how to um, you know, wrap up this the end of this year strong, and which will propel us to have have a strong start for 2016. So he's going to share some awesome tips. And um, if you want to learn more about him and his story and his bio, I can give you tons more information. Um, but welcome, Bob. We're excited to have you here. So thank you. All right. Well, thank you uh, for having me. Uh, and as I said, I'm excited to be here um, and always happy to share. Um, so thanks for the great introduction. Um, it's always humbling to, to hear um, the way you introduce Shannon. The, you're, you're always so uh, uplifting and I love that about you so thanks for that sure. um, and uh, just so I understand the group a little bit uh, most of the people in here are not yet diamond but are trying to get to diamond is that where we're at yes okay. yes we do have a couple of diamonds going for star diamond um, okay. and a couple of one stars so but it's most mostly people going for diamond Okay. All right. Good. I mean, I think the stuff that um, I was thinking about sharing today will be applicable to everybody. Um, you know, when you're going for diamond, that's the beginning and that's to get your business started and get your foundation in place. And when you're going for star diamond or multi-star diamond, you're really looking to simply repeat that process um, with other people. Um, and uh, so, I mean, it gets easier um, and, uh, and I think it gets funner too because now you're partnering up with somebody else who's also doing what you're doing. And one of the difficult things in, the, in this business, especially in the beginning, can be um, uh, you know, a sense of being all alone or, or a sense of kind of you know, kind of wandering around saying, yes, I want this diamond. And what does that even mean? And I don't know how to get there, but everybody says I should. So, you know, and, and you're just kind of wandering around. Um, so um, the, the very first thing that I want to say and the um, sort of foundation of what I want to share today is keep it simple. Um, you really want to make sure that you're not over complicating um, you know sometimes especially that first time of coming to diamond um, you know it really is a big thing in our business because then it, it really um, once you get there um, you've shown that you can do all the things that you need to do to have great success once you can become diamond you can be 15 star diamond um, because it is just the same things so you're just continuing and going down the road and continuing to accumulate um, for a lot of people, it's getting to Emerald that's the hardest because you can't even figure out, well, how do I even invite anybody to join me? And now all of a sudden, you do get two people who say, yeah, that's cool. I'd love to do that too. And, it, it, and, and you sort of, it's, it's like the icebreaker. You know, I like to think of Emerald as the icebreaker. Um, and then Diamond is where you, you're going to get serious. And so because of all of that, <clears throat> I think we have a tendency to make it this big, far off, scary thing, um, or that we um, we overgrandize what it is, and once we do that, we also set up all the mechanisms within our own selves, within our own psyche, that start to doubt whether we can do it, that start to um, bring in the the questioning and the lack consciousness um, and the. So, which start to build the walls that is what actually holds you from getting there. Um, so what I'd like to do right off the bat is just suggest let's keep it simple. Um, you're only looking for six people. And if you've made it to Diamond, you already have two. So we're really only talking about four people. Um, and what I like to tell people is, um, and I don't know, Shannon, you're probably already doing this, and, and if I'm already repeating things that you guys are doing, I'm sorry, but that just means you're on the right track. Um, what I like to do is I do the little circle chart 
where you draw out what's it look like to be a diamond. Um, you put your name up on top, then you have your two legs, and you've got your three bubbles on each leg, and then one of those bubbles on each leg has their own two, uh, two legs. Those are your two emeralds. Um, and then I start filling in the names with people um, because that's something that's very concrete, keeps it simple, keeps it focused, because let's face it, there's nothing more to getting the diamond than finding your six people. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> we can go through all kinds of other stuff, but when you boil it all down, what am I doing? I'm looking for my six people. Um, so when you draw, have you guys done that yet, Shannon? Yeah, we've done that with some people. So, okay. um, and just for the people who aren't Emerald yet, um, so you'll need to have the eight people if you don't have the two already. So, but Bob's explaining like once you're to Emerald, you have your two people, then you add six more people on top of that. So yeah, right. we, a lot of people have, but some people haven't. So if you haven't yet, let's talk and we can work on that. Okay, good. And, and so that even, even that little discussion we were just having there, you know, even, even with Shannon and I at the levels that we're at, you, you know, you, 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 sometimes the way that you talk about getting there makes it kind of jumbled in your head and you're trying to picture those four people or eight people and what does that look like with one emerald when you draw it out on a piece of paper and you have the, the, the little bubbles, now is all you're trying to do is fill the names in. Um, and you can do the same thing. If you're going for star diamond, then, you know, you put yourself up there and I still do this. Even at my level, I have in my journal, I have, I'm here's myself up on top and obviously I have 30,000 in my downline. So I don't draw everybody, but I draw in my personally sponsored. Who are my personally sponsored on my left? Who are my personally sponsored on my right? What rank are they at? Um, and if I have a couple of new personally sponsored, who I'm working with, who are saying, yeah, we want to get to Diamond. And so I'm saying, great, you might be my next star. I fill in their little chart for them uh, or for myself. I mean, I, you know, I help them draw it for themselves, but I have one too. And every time they sign somebody up and they say, well, I just signed up Joe Smith today and, and I see him in my training, I go, great. And I put it on my piece of paper too, so that when I call that person and I'm helping that person to become Diamond, I say, Let's pull out your sheet. That's where we start all the time. Where are you? Okay, I see you have Joe and Mary on the left, and you have Jim, Susie, and Donna on the other side. So we're only looking for, for two more people. And then, the, oh, yes, and, and this one over here signed their spouse because they watched the, you know, Greg Plaskett, why do you sign your spouse video? Or this person over here is, is running for em Emerald um, because they watched that Emerald Factory video on all the cool things that happen when you get to Emerald and you just keep help going one step at a time to build that little chart. Um, and by the way, if either one of those two things that I just referenced aren't familiar to you, those are a couple things you want to check out. Um, because also as you're building to Diamond or Star Diamond, you want to have a real good grasp on the basics too. If you're going for a diamond, and, and what happens most of the time, and I have a few of these happening right now for myself, they have their people lined up, and it's like, well, okay, I, I can't get my people to get to Emerald. And it's an education process. Are you helping them understand why it's so important to get to Emerald? Are you helping them understand all the cool things that's going to happen for them when they get to Emerald? Um, you know, sometimes it's about signing up a family member. We have a rule called um, U plus two. So you can sign your spouse, you can sign um, a brother, sister, son or daughter if they're 18 or over um, within your household. Um, and a lot of times you, you want to help people understand, especially people who are trying to build the business and do want to come to Diamond, um, the importance of utilizing that to get to Emerald. Because here's what happens when you get to Emerald. Um, you get eligible for the team cycle bonus. So now you've got a whole different side of income coming in. Um, as long as you're hitting your success club five, you become Emerald for the lead wheel, which starts putting customers into your business, which can be very significant, especially right in the, um, right in the beginning. Um, and you now have your first little team. You're, you're going now. Um, and so those are important things to talk about because sometimes it comes down to, ah, I really don't want to sign my spouse up. 
you know, we're already doing hundred dollars a month for Shakeology and, and they have an idea, well, maybe I do have to do another hundred dollars a month and well, actually you only need 50 PV. So there are some other options. And if you're really trying to do this business, isn't it worth another $50 a month investment? That's how I always looked at it. I built myself to Emerald the very first day. I signed up myself, my wife, and the, our best friend. And it was about, I knew that Emerald was the beginning of the business. I wanted those leads to start coming in. Um, you know, I was running a law firm where I was spending tens of thousands of dollars a month in overhead. I looked at this business as like 150 bucks a month to run a business. You kidding me? Sign me up. Where do, where do I go? How do I do that? You know, and that's me and my spouse. And now you've got one more person. Um, and so when you start internalizing and thinking that way yourself, you can share that with the people on your team because, the, the, again, being in position and ready to aid your coaches to make that step to Emerald is a huge step towards Diamond. That's the most difficult piece to hold um, is getting your people to understand the importance of getting to Emerald and then continuing that, obviously. And then, you know, and then if you're one of the people on the call who you're already a Diamond, best thing you can do for your business is building more emeralds. Not only are they the foundation to get you to those next stars, your next star diamonds, it's also, it's also the way that you start to build volume so that now that you are eligible for the team cycle bonus, it can actually turn into something. Um, because emeralds are not only generating more, uh, more volume because they're three instead of one, they're also now new portals into the lead wheel so that customers that are being given to your emeralds are also in your business. Um, you know, I love when people become emerald in, in my business. And it's because I love to see people succeed, but it's also because I love to see new customers coming through the lead wheel that aren't necessarily assigned to me, but they are in my downline and they are feeding volume to me. Um, so, uh, so, so, you know, I, I know I kind of sidetracked over there on the emerald road, but I think you can't really talk about how to get to diamond unless you're also really talking about how to get to emerald and how to help other people get to emerald um, and how to continue to educate on the importance of emerald. Um, and then we have some things that we've done in the team and I, you know, I don't want to go into great detail and take all kinds of time on detail stuff. Um, I'm sure Shannon, if she hasn't already shared this, um, with those of you um, who, are, who are seeking Diamond, um, we can get it to you. It's a program that we call um, Refer Three, Get Yours Free. Um, and, um, you know, this is, again, something you can share with your coaches or your customers um, to help move you along. And it works differently with each. So for your coaches, if you have existing coaches who are trying to get to Emerald, Sometimes just helping them understand, again, keep it simple. We don't have to go out and recruit all day long and you don't be scared because we're not telling you to do cold calling for 14 hours. What we're saying is, do you know three people, three people who you can contact over the next month? Take your time. Three people who you think really might want to use Shakeology because three referrals is all you need. And in fact, to get to Emerald, only two referrals, because if you sign them up as discount coaches, um, then there you go. They get their Shakeology at the discount. Maybe they don't want to do the business. They don't have to want to do the business. That's fine. Um, and then boom, you've got your two um, uh, uh, new coaches for Emerald. When you take that to customers, you can share with them because sometimes you have customers in your, in your group and you've been working in your challenge group or somehow they're in your business and they keep telling you, I don't want to do the business. I love the products. I really, I, 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 I'm, I'm hooked on the Shakeology and the fitness, but I don't want to do the business. If you share the refer three, you get yours free with them, then sometimes a couple of things happen. Number one, you, you do help enable them to be able to, um, get the, 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 their own for free. But the first thing they have to do is make the jump to sign up for a coach because in order to get the commissions so that their three referrals will pay for their Shakeology, they have to turn on the coach light bulb, which for many of us, especially when we're going for diamond, that's all we need. 
I can't tell you how many people and probably some in this group would tell me I'm going for diamond. I've got four people or I've got five people. I only need a couple more people. If I could just figure out how to do it. Well, if we're talking about getting for diamond at, by the end of the year, we've got 60 days. You know, we've got about 60 days left and it's only a few people. Even if you're starting from scratch or you're a brand new emerald, um, you know, can you get one person every 10 days? One person every 10 days to fall into any of these categories. And, and again, I think it's important to think broadly when you're thinking about bringing in your new coaches. Um, you know, to go to Diamond, you don't have to have your first eight business builders, right? <laughs> I mean, a lot of people are Diamond or Star Diamond before they've even approached getting to the next level of actually having coaches who wanna be business partners. You're just looking for eight in any combination, discount customers, people who just want to do the refer three and get yours free. So they, they said, yeah, sure. I know three people I can refer to. Um, they're not even trying to get to Emerald. They're just going to hold a spot as a coach because they want to further their discount. Um, or customers who maybe don't even want to do refer three, get yours free, but would love the, to get Shakeology at 25% off. And we call those discount buyer coaches. Um, you know, and there's all kinds of discussion about, um, back and forth on that. Um, and, uh, you know, and some, as coaches, if you sign up a discount buyer coach, you don't get any commissions. Um, and some people, and I agree, you know, some people say, well, but that's a great way for new coaches to earn commissions and start to earn, earn income. And that's true. But <laughs> if your first goal is I want to get to diamond and then I'm going to think about, um, building my earning capacity because at Diamond, I maximize the amount that I can get paid on Team Cycle Bonus, um, then you're going to think about that a little bit differently. Um, and the truth is, especially in the beginning, and this is my own opinion, this is the way I did it, this is the way uh, most of the coaches who have worked with me have done it, um, and that is to really harness the power of the discount buyers in the beginning so you can get to that rank um, and then keep going because, uh, you know, the other thing is for those of you who are out there trying to go to Star Diamond or Two Star Diamond, you've already seen this. It doesn't end at Diamond. Um, and and too, much, too often people get to Diamond and they say, okay, good, I'm all done. Can I just sit back and let my team do everything now? And you can't. What you've done is you've proven that you know how to do it now. Um, you know, when my daughter was learning how to ride a bike, earlier this summer, it wasn't, as soon as she learned how to ride it, she put it down and said, okay, I know how to do that next. Now what do we do? No, it was, oh my God, I want to ride my bike every day. Um, and it's the same thing with this business. Once you learn the process of how to find, how to invite, how to share, how to sponsor, once we learn how to move that wheel, once we learn how to ride that bike, we're not in a hurry to get off. Because hopefully we're learning how to ride this bike because riding a bike is what we want to do. Um, and that's how this business works. Um, we learn how to do the sharing cycle because someday we want to be expert sharing cycle people, right? I learned how to share with people and invite people and build a team because that's what I wanted to do full time. Not because I was doing it only as long as I needed to and I couldn't wait to stop. And that's something that you have to understand about this business. And if you're in this to be diamond or if you're in this to be star diamond or maybe you're in this to try to go full time or maybe you really want to take this and be five star diamond and above, um, then it's important to know up front that this is what we do <laughs> and we continue doing this because just like I said as I started, I, I suggest that you keep it simple because the truth is all the way through this business, you have to keep reminding yourself to keep it simple because it really all only boils down to one thing, inviting new people, sharing the opportunity, sharing all the different faces of the opportunity and continuing forward. And what I mean by sharing all the different faces of the opportunity is especially in the beginning, and I, and I think that this will help your sharing if you, if you get this mindset, not everybody fits in the same cookie cutter pattern. If I'm only looking for people who want to build a millionaire club business, I'm gonna scare away 90% of the people I'm talking to. 
If I only want to talk to people about being a discount buyer, please, you don't have to do anything, but just take the discount. Um, I promise you'll never have to do another thing. Then that's all your team will look like. And you won't find the ones who do want to build the you know, millionaire club business. We want all of them and everybody in between. And so when we're sharing what I, how it, it, to kind of come full circle and kind of um, come with a, hopefully a, um, a thought that brings it all together. What I like to do, especially with new people going for diamond is to create that little sheet that I talked about in the beginning, talk only about how are we going to fill these little circles and then talk about all the different ways that we might be able to fill those circles. And I like to even have people make a note next to them. You know, <laughs> Sally Jones joined yesterday, discount buyer. Cool. And then over on this side, Jim Smith joined yesterday, wants to go full time. Okay, good. I, I want to know that right up from the beginning. And as you see that in your team and in your tree, um, I believe it kind of trips something in our psyche to keep understanding that there's a whole wide range of possibilities of how we can fill in those circles. And we don't want to... Um, you know, we don't want to prejudice ourselves or who we're talking to by having a closed mind about who can get into those circles. Keep an open mind and keep, a, keep your eyes on the field of how broad it is of all the different circumstances that you may be able to do that. Okay. So that's my sort of um, uh, base philosophy that you want to hold on to. And now just let me spend a couple minutes before, uh, before wrapping um, I wonder some things that you can do in the next 60 days. The very best thing that you can do, besides grabbing the philosophy we just talked about, is you got to talk to as many people as possible. We have to up the invitation process over the next 60 days. Really challenge yourself. It's all, I love the end of the year because I love to see a finish line. It's actually hard for me sometimes in January. So I'm like, man, that finish line is way down there. But when I get to the end of the year and I can see a finish line, I, I love that. Um, and that's you know, one of the things I love about our fitness programs. I love the fact that they're finite. It's 30 days, it's 21 days, it's 60 days, or it's 90 days. And then I can pull out my calendar. I can challenge myself. I'm going to eat clean every day. I'm going to work out for one hour every day for these 60 days. It's not from here until I'm 95 years old and I'm going to fall off tomorrow because it's just too big. It's just this little pocket of time. And then pick a number. What's your number? Um, you know, 60 days, even if you joined this morning and you're a brand new coach and you don't have anybody in your team, it is completely feasible to reach diamond by the end of the year. 60 days is plenty of time to find eight people, especially if you leverage some of the things that I was just talking about, about how to get yourself there, spouse, relative, that kind of thing, customer base, customer who might just want a discount, customer who might want to use the refer three to get theirs for free, boom, now I'm going to be a coach just to get a commission, or Maybe you did run into a rock star already and you got somebody going, yeah, I, I turned emerald yesterday and I can't wait to keep going. Great. But you don't need eight of those people. Not yet. I mean, hopefully you'll get eight of them. But maybe you got one. Maybe you don't have any yet. When I first went to Diamond, I didn't have any of those yet. I really didn't. <laughs> I had my wife. I had my very best friend. I had a couple of other friends who just wanted to drink Shakeology. Then I had a couple of people who they were working out with me and we didn't call them challenge groups back then, but challenge group kind of people. And they were like, yeah, cool. Let's get the discount. That was my team. That's how I got to Diamond. Um, you know, I didn't meet rock stars until later on as we kind of got moving. Um, so let's pick a number. Two to five is what I suggest. Two to five brand new people, five to six days a week for the next 60 days. Think broadly about the opportunities that you can share with those people, that little bunch that I just shared and anything else that you can think of. Um, and then the magic glue is utilize your upline. Um, you know, you can get out and talk to two to five people a day. You can think about all those wonderful things that I just said. 
If you really want to bring the glue in, get your upline, get Shannon, get your whoever your upline diamond is, your upline star diamond, whoever it is that you're working with, you got to pack your calendar with three-way calls. Give yourself the best opportunity to actually get some of these folks to stick. We're going to throw a whole bunch of them up at the wall, and we're going to hope that eight of them stick. Um, and you can give yourself the highest odds at eight of them sticking by leveraging and utilizing your business partners. You've got some amazing business partners. It's one of the super cool things about this team. So we've got some amazingly super successful people who all have hearts of gold and are ready, willing, and able to jump, on, jump in and help you build your business. That was a big one for me. I have to be honest. That was a tough one, tough pill to swallow. I'm a big, tough guy. I do everything on my own. I don't need help. You know, but it was as soon as I let all that stuff down and said, I can't do this on my own. Will you help me, please? I know you've been offering for six months and I haven't called you yet, but will you? And then I started to get help from, you know, um, either upline coaches or success partners who are cross line, whoever it is out there in the Beachbody community who you're already connecting with. Um, Leverage, leverage the team aspect, get some help with what you're doing and go find eight people. Does that make sense? Yes, that's awesome. Thanks, Bob. Um, Thanks one last thing I wanted to um, ask if you could talk about, I love your tagline, faith, enthusiasm, and action. Um, could you talk about how important that is? I think that's really important, just all those three things. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and um, I'll tell you a little story behind where that came from. Um, you know, I, I think the business or our business, my business was maybe a year old or so. I think it was the second year. Um, uh, my wife and I um, were at, um, uh, I guess to keep the story short, it basically um, like a prayer event um, or uh you know, like a retreat kind of situation that was spiritual prayer focused. And we were praying about um, asking for guidance about how to move forward with this business. Uh, I think we were about a year, maybe a year and a half in. We were getting some traction and I could actually see that, you know what, this is actually real. And I might actually be able to walk away from my 20 year legal career that's taken up all my time, killing me and keeping me away from my family. And we really wanted that. And so we put out the, and the guidance that we got back were those three words, faith, enthusiasm, and action. And we owned those on our own. Um, and, and, and I sort of have a very big um, picture for each one of those, but to kind of break it down, faith, faith in what we're doing, faith in the products that we're sharing, faith in the company that we're partnering with, and faith in ourselves that we can really do this and we're supposed to be doing this. Um, those things all put together under that umbrella of faith add up to some powerful stuff. Um, and for me, it was very easy to have faith in the products because I was just customer first. I lost 70 pounds, changed my life. I had faith in the company because I had gotten to a couple of events. I met Carl Deichler and John Congdon. I saw their heart. I saw their vision. I saw their integrity. Um, we saw who they were and what their vision is for this business. Um, and I truly, this isn't, this is really cool because it's changed things for me financially. That's not why I'm in this business. You know, I had a 20 year legal career. I wasn't about to leave that just to go make money a different way. It was because of the faith I have in what we're doing here as Beachbody coaches. We are really changing the world. We really are one person at a time, one family at a time. When I lost 70 pounds, you know, if my wife was here talking to you, she would say it wasn't the 70 pounds. And she even wrote this two page letter to Carl Deichler saying, thank you for giving me my husband back. Thank you for the fact that he has energy to play with the kids now that he didn't do before. Thank you for the fact that he's not walking around in a depressed fog because, you know, whatever's going on in his physical body is simply a result of the fact that he wasn't up and moving around and active in life. I saw that in myself. I see that in the, the people that we share with. Um, so those are the, the first two levels of faith. And the last one is faith in yourself. And that's what we, you're going to get that through personal growth. That's not something that, you know, happens overnight. Hopefully, 
you have faith in yourself, and I think you do because you're here with us. You're on the call. You made it this far, so you do. You way back there somewhere, or right up in front of you. You believe that you can do this, and this is for you. So those first three levels of faith, enthusiasm. If you if you can't see that I'm enthusiastic, then you were probably not watching the same show here, right? <laughs> um, and this is the way I. This is what Beachbody is to me, it's very exciting. I'm very enthusiastic about it because of those three levels of faith. And when you bring the enthusiasm into what you're doing and how you're doing it, it's magic um, for many reasons. I mean, and, and you know, they spend another couple of hours talking about that, but quite simply, it obviously extends and lifts your energy but when somebody's talking to you and you're sharing something, if you're not excited about it, they don't want to be part of it. If you're not enthusiastic about the way you share, they don't care. And they're really not listening. But just like when you come home from a great movie, if it's like, yeah, that X-Men movie was great. You should see it. What? I don't want to see that thing. Man, that movie was awesome, dude. It was like, oh, I it came back. It was the best thing I've ever seen. It's like, you didn't even hear a word that person said, but you can't wait to see that movie. And this is the same thing. Um, and then the final is action. None of this means anything. And we can be on a zillion Zoom calls and read every personal development book and be the expert on multi-level marketing businesses. If you don't get out there and get in action, if you don't do your two to five new shares every day and do your follow-ups, doesn't mean anything. And in my humble opinion, that guidance that we got way back four years ago still drives the way I operate my business today. And it's also the people I'm looking for when I'm sharing, especially when I'm sharing the business opportunity. And it is the, you know, the reason why I made it our team motto, the Team Bearcat team motto, is I truly think that out of all the training, if I can impart upon you some kind of inspiration to find the faith in the products, the business, and yourself, to get enthusiastic and excited about what you're part of, and then get out and get active, that's really the key. <laughs> All the other things are, you know, those are, that's the minutia. And, you know, the minutia has value, but always remember to keep it in its, its proper place. Um, so great question. I'm glad you asked that, um, Shannon. And, you know, if you want to be a diamond, faith, enthusiasm, and action. <laughs> ah, thanks. I, I love those three keywords and I really use those in my business. So I wanted to hear it from you. I love hearing you share that. So thank you. Awesome. Well, awesome. well, do you have a few minutes so you could ask some questions? Sure, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, so if you guys have a question for Bob, um, please comment in the chat box or unmute your line. And um, yeah, he's a great person to ask if you have some questions. I have a quick question. So I know this is probably the top question that anybody would ask, but I still have problems with it. How do you overcome the money objection? I don't, I try so hard and I've got so many people and they just keep telling me over and over, I don't have that much money. And I keep trying to tell them, if you just get two people to sign up and become discount coaches, then I can help you get yours for free. But they don't understand that concept. I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. Well, it may not be that you're doing anything wrong. Um, it, the, 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 um, the cost objection, is probably the number one objection that we all run up against. And, and here's the thing, I, and, and it kind of goes back to my faith, enthusiasm, and action. Um, that will come up less for you the more you believe in the value of what it is that you're sharing. And um, as we share, and, and if, if I hear that from people, um, Here's a couple of things that I like to do. I think that you're doing a good job with sharing the, hey, if you can get a couple of referrals, we can help reduce it. But if you start with that, then really what you did is you just validated their claim that it costs too much. Because what you're saying is, yeah, I know, you're right. Let me help you fix that. And so when I get that, I say, I always kind of come back with a surprised response. And why do you think that? Or I, I'm not, I, I, I don't understand that. And follow that up with, 
a little education because most of the time it's just because you don't, it's because, you know, when, and usually times if I ask those two questions, what I get is, well, I can get a protein shake at GNC for 25 bucks a month. And then I say, I know you can. That's not what Shakeology is. Let's talk about what's in Shakeology so that you know what it is that you're getting and, and kind of educate the value. The, the, the biggest and best way to get around the cost objection is to educate on value. Because if people think they're getting a good value, which they are, they'll go for it and then they realize that it's, the cost is not an issue. In fact, they're lucky that they can get all this for what you're able to get it for. And a great little video is that Tony Horton one where he's the cash register guy. I don't know if you guys have seen that one yet. That's a great example because it goes through. And I've had a couple people before we had that great video. I had a couple people um, uh, on the team. This isn't my personality, so I didn't do it. But um, luckily, some other people did. If you go to a health food store and say, I want a month's supply of Ashikawanda and Maka Maka and this one and the next one and the next one, a one month supply of every single one of those things and add it up, it's hundreds of dollars. Um, and and, and it, so you just cannot get, even buying powdered form individual same amount of all the things that are in Shakeology and you can bring it home and stick it in your own bag, you can't even come close. Um, and so that's a nice tool too. You want to be careful going too far. Um, and, uh, you know, again, without running too long on this particular one, a golden rule anytime you get an objective is to kind of give it back to the person. Sometimes people object as a knee-jerk reaction. To everything you know what oh those brand new Nike sneakers are a hundred bucks oh that's too much and then that, then you see that person walking around with those sneakers and like well wait a minute well yeah sneakers cost 150 200 dollars these days what do you mean but it's like it, it's just a sort of natural thing that happens um, so instead of rambling on I think the bottom line is just educate on value um, and and, uh, and sort of step back never validate um, and, uh, and this was a big one for me too. And I think most of us, um, uh, uh, we get hit with that one. We don't know what to do with it. And we start apologizing. We start trying to make it okay. We start validating. And the next thing you know is we just, is all we did is we just made that person more secure in their cost too much position. Where what we really want to do is just kind of soften on that one. It's kind of like the trees in the wind. You don't want to get strong to that one. You want to say, whoa, um, what do you mean by that? You know, what, why, do you, what do you, why do you think that? Um, you know, how much, do, or, or sometimes I'll just say, really? How much do you spend for lunch every day? And then it's like you're stuck in your tracks because, you know, Shakeology is what, three seventy five now for a serving or $4 even? I don't, I don't know what, what, where we're at exactly right now for a single serving, but it's somewhere between three fifty and $4. Good luck you know, going and finding a breakfast or a lunch. And then I say, and you're going to use these for breakfast or lunch. And oh, by the way, do you take a multivitamin? You might not have to take that anymore if you're taking Shakeology every day, because most of those things are in here. You might want to take a look at your mighty multivitamin and compare. You know, do you take digestive enzymes, by the way? Do you take any pre and probiotic, um, you know, in, and kind of break down because, again, most of the time people don't even know what's in there. And if I can help them understand what they're going to replace, I usually can get to the point where I'm like, dude, I'm saving you money. You know, I'm saving you money. You don't have to get any of these supplements anymore. And you're not going to buy lunch anymore. And the super cool thing is, do you drink coffee every day? You know what? Most of the people who get on Shakeology – find that they don't need their morning coffee anymore, especially if you add this new energy boost thing that we have. Um, so it's just that kind of thing, building value around that question instead of trying to take it head on. Does that make sense? Yes, thank you so much, I appreciate that. You bet. Great question. Any other questions before we wrap it up? I do. I have a question. Um, you mentioned that um, you can sign up your spouse and maybe another person. Um, so if I sign up my husband, um, I don't have to pay another $100 for his Shakeology or do I? Or no. Um, 
you you only have to keep the site active, which is only 50 PV. Um, so, um, you know, for instance, if you're using Shakeology and you were using one or two of the boosts, maybe you could put that on, on that account. Or, you know, if you're using Recovery Formula or Energize or E&E, &E, there's a whole bunch of different things that you can do. The most inexpensive way to carry a second account is one of the, excuse me, one of the nutrition packs. And when I first did it, I was getting Shakeology. Then on our second um, one, I got the core nutrition pack and it's just omega-3s, which every single one of us should be taking and most of us do take, um, and the um, Activate multivitamin. Uh, I think they might have calcium magnesium with that one too. And it's only $40. Um, so at a $40 price point, you're keeping your second account active, and now you're halfway to Emerald. Um, you know, one more person comes in, boom, I'm Emerald. And, you know, again, and, and you know, Shannon will add the little financial disclaimer underneath here later on. We don't promise anything to anyone in terms of financial success. It all is based on what you do and your own diligence and hard work. But the cool thing is if you get that one more person and you come to Emerald and you stay at Success Club, the leads that you get and the customers that you get, in my humble opinion, easily makes up for that additional $40 a month um, investment that you're making in your business. And I always think of it as investment in my business. I started a brand new business. You're starting a brand new business. Um, is it okay to invest $150 a month to keep your business going if in the beginning that means you're halfway to Emerald and you're going to be open the door to those customers. Um, because in my experience, um, it has been more than worthwhile for, for folks to, to go that route. Getting to Emerald really can't be overemphasized in terms of the importance. And, and, and there's a great video on this. Uh, I think Greg Plaskett did one. I'm sure there's some other people who have as well. The other thing about placing your spouse in your business this, this is probably getting beyond the topic of today, but later on you'll see it's extremely, extremely beneficial when building your income because that, that position has the ability to earn income as well and it earns income off the same volume. So volume flows up in my team, right? And I happen to have a very large team. So on either one of my legs at the end of any given week, there's three or 400,000 volume points coming up the leg. Comes all the way up, it hits my wife's business center, gets cycled out, and then all that exact same volume comes up to my business center, gets cycled out again, and we both earn income off of that leg, that shared strong leg, all of that volume. So in the beginning, it doesn't look like much, but five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 years from now, when your business looks like mine and you've got hundreds of thousands of volume points coming up that leg, wouldn't it be nice to get two bites at that apple instead of just one? Um, and again, like I said, probably beyond this topic, but I know Shannon's husband is, has, a, has a business center. Um, and in fact, Shannon's a, a great example of somebody um, who, who they together have been able to build not just one successful business center, but two successful business centers um, that are driving income into the household. Um, and, and, and that's just an amazing thing to do. Um, so what, who better to partner with than your spouse? <laughs> Make sense? Yes, totally. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. All right, you bet. Yeah, that's a great question. And I just wanted to add, um, so I got to Emerald pretty quick right before January. So um, getting those free leads, like I get random orders all the time. I have over, I don't know, 1,000 or so free customers from Beachbody. And um, just even this month got two orders that got three success club points just from those free people, just random orders. Um, and then also as far as income goes, like, like Bob said, you know, I've gotten a paycheck from mine and my husband's business um, pretty much from the beginning because we're both star diamond coaches. He's a lifetime two star and I'm a lifetime four star in my um, first business. And then we put another business center 
in there too. So we actually, now we get three paychecks every week. Um, yeah, just from those three. So it's, it's pretty cool. I mean, that is more of an advanced topic, but like Bob said, we're just helping you create like that stepping stone, like the very basics of it. And then um, it's, it's really awesome how it works. So, okay, great. Well, we'll let's see one more question and then we'll wrap it up. Great questions. We're all good. Okay, awesome. Well, if there's no other questions, I think we'll go ahead and um, wrap it up. Um, we like to take a picture. We've been doing this on our calls lately. So if you guys aren't showing your screen, share your screen. We're going to take a quick group picture screenshot here. Um, okay, everyone ready? Get your hair all <laughs> good. Get your babies by you. Okay, ready, smile. One, two, three. <coughs> Say smile. <laughs> She's not sick today. <laughs> okay, awesome. We got everyone. Well, thanks for coming and thank you so much, Bob, for taking time out to talk to us and spend time with our team today. So we really yeah. appreciate you. You bet. Thanks for having me and uh, good luck, buddy. I know we'll be seeing a whole bunch of new diamonds by the end of the year. Yeah, definitely. Awesome. Well, have a great day, everyone, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.